Hi everyone, in today's tutorial, we'll look at cell potential and free energy. Free energy is defined as the maximum useful energy obtainable from a process. For a galvanic cell, change in free energy is given by delta G is equal to negative N F E, where N is the number of electrons transferred. F is the Faraday constant with the value 964 Eight five coulomb per more electrons. E is the cell potential in joule per coulomb. We know that one volt is equal to one joule per coulomb. This is our equation one. For standard conditions. Equation 1 becomes delta G0 equals minus NFE0. Example, let's see how we can calculate the free energy for a reaction. Example, calculate delta G for a reaction magnesium 2 plus ion forms manganese plus ion 3 is this reaction spontaneous Solution, we first write the half reactions, the half reactions are ion 3 plus 3 forms ion. The standard potential for this reaction is negative 0 0.036 volts. Equation 1. Then manganese 2. Standard potential is negative 1.18 volts. Equation 2 or reaction 2 must be reversed because a cell always runs spontaneously in the direction that produces a positive cell potential. Reaction 2 must be reversed. We have Manganese forms manganese 2 plus 2 electrons. Then now we have negative. So this negative becomes positive. Balance the cell reaction. now need to balance the cell reaction. We have ion 3 plus 3 forms ion. Then we have manganese forms manganese 2 plus plus 2. 
the number of electrons lost and gained must be equal on both sides. So we can simply interchange these coefficients. The two comes here, the three goes there. We now multiply the reactions with the integers. We have the first one, two ion three, of course, plus six electrons forms two ion. The standard potential remains the same. It is not affected by the integer, which is equal to negative 0 0.036 volts. The second equation, we have three manganese solid forms three manganese two plus aquas plus six electrons. So potential for the anode is equal to 1.18 volts. We now find the cell reaction. In this case, we have cell reaction. We have two ion three aquas plus three manganese, then forms two ion plus three manganese aquas. This is the cell reaction, balanced cell reaction. Then now we calculate the cell standard cell potential given by anodes. In this case we have negative 0 0.036 volts plus 1.18 volts. Then we we'll get when we do the arithmetic we'll have 1.144 volts. This is the cell standard cell potential for the reaction 1.44 volts. We now use the standard cell potential to calculate the free energy. We know that free energy delta G is equal to negative N F E. In this case, the number of electrons transferred is six. We have negative six more electron times Faraday constant 96485 Coulomb per more electron then times the standard cell potential which is 1.144 Vote one vote is equal to one joule per coulomb. The modes cancel, cancel, the charge cancels, cancel, then we have the joule. We multiply, then we have 6.6 .6 times 10 to the power 5 joules. This is the standard free energy for this reaction. The reaction or the process is spontaneous as indicated 
as indicated by the negative sign, as indicated by the negative sign of delta G, and the positive sign, and the positive sign of the cell potential. So this is how we can calculate the free energy for a reaction. In the next tutorial, we'll look at the next equation. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.